What's good, Her Rich Fam? Her Rich Credit tapping in. Look, y'all, let's get straight into it. So today we're going to be talking about NIHFCU. The reason why I'm bringing up NIHFCU once again is because recently I've gotten so much people approved, my clients approved for the NIHFCU personal swipe. The reason why I'm not talking about the business swipe is because normally when I'm adding a credit stack in play for my clients, I don't offer the NIHFCU swipe. Well, I don't recommend to apply for the NIHFCU business swipe because you have to like print out a document and then you know the papers that you have to fill out the application then you have to send it out through mail so we don't got time for that we're trying to get the, them approvals very quick so what i do is i recommend them the nihfc personal swipe that has zero percent interest for 15 months i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure all of them have zero percent for 15 months but the thing is though all my clients have been getting approved for nihfcu like they're very lenient it's easy to get approved with nihfcu and the only thing that they're asking for, which is stated income, okay, is stated income applications. I haven't had one client that's been asked for additional documentation other than their ID and what was it? Membership. Membership and ID is the only shit that they're asking for right now. So yeah, I'm, I just want to mention the NIHFCU is because they are proving people like nothing right now. Something that I forgot to include is it's not going to be a straight automatic approval most of the time. Okay. I've gotten multiple people approved, but it took some time. They had to wait for, you know, the certified mail and it told them, okay, we only need your ID and we only need a uh, membership and that's all you're going to need. Okay. And they pull your Equifax report. I forgot to include that as well. So with other institutions, I'm going to be very transparent. Like my clients have been getting denied, man. These institutions have been coming over with some bullshit reasons on why they you know why they're not getting approved but i still got them approved with other low-key credit unions i told them look go to your local institutions your local credit unions or your local small community banks build a relationship for three to six months then we hit them up and they got an approved with those type of institutions but with these major institutions and the institutions that everybody's talking about on these youtube platforms i feel like they're burning out if i'm being honest with y'all because of the, den the denial reasons that we were receiving the denial reasons were bullshit or the denial reasons. The denial reasons were something like you haven't, you have too much recent accounts when you know recent accounts were hit up to six months. Like all my clients, I made sure they has no recent accounts in the last six months, and they still got denied. It was bullshit reasons, basically. Okay, y'all. So yeah, hit up NIHSCU. Very good personal swipe to add to your stacking play. I always tell y'all, y'all can add personal swipes. Don't worry. Okay, even if your utilization spikes up when you utilize it to invest fuck it who gives a fuck when you pay down the car once you get your money back from the investment you straight okay so yeah hit up nihscu they easy approvals right now okay y'all so hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all have a good day the hood rich way come on